Welcome back to this lecture SAP period and closing. This content is designed by myyug.com. In case of any questions or queries, you can reach us through the messaging services. Support is an important part of this lectures where when you when you are practicing SAP, you can always get back to us with your queries and questions and we'll be happy to answer your questions. Period and closing. This is activity involves a series of steps for recertification, adjustment and mutual settlements between cost centers and cost objects for services rendered to each other. So each of the period end, for example, if it is monthly, every month we end our books of account. So we adjust if there is an overpaid or over expenses or wrong entry in, a, in our books, we adjust that. So when we, whenever we adjust, we post credit and debit to different cost objects or cost centers or, or cost elements. So that's how period end closing is important in this chapter. Reposting is one of the way we adjust our entries. If an expense has been accounted in a wrong cost center, for example, you, you expense something in marketing department but post it to HR department. So you probably want to rectify that before that period ends. So you wanted to post the correct cost to correct cost center. So it can be transferred within controlling to the correct cost center without making a fresh entry in financial accounting again. Note that note that the reposting is meant to rectify the cost objects, not cost element. For rectifying a GL account, you need a fresh journal entry in financial accounting. In this chapter, we are learning about rectifying costing related postings. For example, if you post into a wrong GL account, like earlier I gave you the example of posting to account which not belong to the same posting. For example, if you are posting to a marketing department GL account, wrongly you posted that to HR GL account. So in costing, you just cannot rectify that. To rectify that, you have to cancel the posting first, then enter a journal entry on financial accounting to rectify that. Here I'm talking about rectifying only costing objects, like cost center postings, cost object posting, cost element posting within the controlling area. You can move it, delete it, or repost it within the controlling area without affecting the financial accounting. When I say delete it, that means deleting the text, not the postings. Cost allocation. This is another way where we allocate cost from one cost center or one cost object to another cost object. This can be done in case of cost center, order, project, etc. There's two important methods of allocation. Those are distribution and assessment. In distribution, where the allocations are made using original primary cost element, that is GL account. Remember we talk about GL account cost element mapping in our master data section, where primary cost elements are those who are expense account in financial accounting. Here the sender cost center is credited with the primary cost element and the receiver cost center get a debit with the same. The identity of original cost element is retained throughout. We'll see an example how it works. However, in this method, the number of line items is much more. It increases our database. Each time we have to allocate, we have to refer back to the original cost center. Each time it has to be debited, another has to be credited. So the original cost element has to be there each time. There is another method assessment where the allocations are made using secondary cost element remember secondary cost element has no relation so whatsoever to financial accounting that means it only has validity in controlling area not in financial accounting area whatever we do with the secondary cost elements it stays within controlling area here the sender cost center is credited with secondary cost element and the receiver cost center gets a debit with the same. The identity of the original cost element is not retained. 
This method is widely used because it reduces the number of line atoms. Now let's take a look an example of distribution. In this example, there is a posting on the left side. It shows materials 100, staff, salary 200, repairs, traveling, hotel. Total cost is 350. You see the, the postings in, in financial accounting. This is the primary posting. On the credit side, you see the same. 100, 200, 20 and 30. In accounting, anything you debit, the similar amount has to be credited to something. So this is our financial posting on the left side. When we use distribution method, what happens? Materials 100 is posted to administration 60 and production support. So debited, the same cost center is debited with the same cost element. While crediting, it has credited to two different cost elements. One is material cost center, another is production support. So in, in this case, you see the original cost element has retained. We can see, okay, the primary posting is happened in FI and this is secondary posting, whereas the original cost element is still maintained. Same case with traveling and staff services. We can see the arrows, those two to four to six, eight arrows there. So eight different postings along with the original postings. So that means we have eight more line items in our system. Now let's take a look at assessment method. In assessment, we have one debit, one credit on the left side, $350, the same, same postings. Look at how it has been, the arrows has been reduced, just two arrows, instead of eight line items, just two arrows. So what we did, take out that $350 posting and bifurcate between administration and production support without referring back to the original transactions. We just take out those credit amount and post it to different cost centers. So we don't refer back to the debit original postings. So that way we reduced the line items. So original cost element clubbed under a single secondary cost element in this case. Let's, let's take a look a distribution again. Here if you see identify of original cost will retain in sender and receiver both. In this case receiver are administration and production support, the sender are company general. So each time we are distributing we are referring back to the sender. So that means each time we are increasing a line item. So that's the difference between assessment and distribution. This is about SAP period and closing. I hope you guys enjoy this lecture. I hope you guys practice and come back to us with questions and your queries. Please post it to the messaging services. Again, this lecture is designed by myyug.com.